All right. So today we are trying to see the uh, the cards that my fellow players have. That's the first uh, that's the first item on this checklist up here. So let's go ahead and get everything set up. Um, oh, uh, let's see, you're in Australia, so I don't think it's legal to buy fireworks. Well, I mean, like, that doesn't stop, <laughs> like, a lot of the places that I've lived in have been illegal to buy fireworks because of fire hazards, and that doesn't stop, like, a lot of people. Yeah, we just got fireworks around here before that people would just drive down south to get fireworks. Exactly. Like... You're, you're living within like somewhere where like a 10 to 12 hour drive will get you all the fireworks you want. Um, oh, so I forgot to mention, I have a cool new thing that I did. Uh, I had heard about the new GitHub Autopilot, which is this icon right down here. And so I applied for the program and got in. So now I can program with the power of AI. Now they, they did tell me that uh, JavaScript Python and Go are like the the languages that are the best with it. Uh, but we're doing Rust. Um, so there, there's that. Okay. How can why does this always happen? Like I was on the front end and I got the back end. So I actually want to open up this one again. Copilot makes you feel really uncomfortable so for some reason. Uh, I, I can see that. Now they're, they're not the first. There's been actually several other AI um, autocomplete code suggesting tools. I think like tab nine, I think is one of them. Okay, did you not open? Oh, because I need to be in the right language. All right, are you? Yes, you're the correct thing. So open up you. Um, from from my, from what I'm um uh, expecting is like Copilot and these other like AI things is gonna be like the future of where. It's gonna be um, instead of AI replacement, it's gonna be AI um, AI augmentation for 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 people. So like developers will have AIs that they tune for like their type of projects or their type of work, and then they go with that. That's that's my guess. Are you done? Hi, I'm over here. Funny, he's like standing guard behind me. Uh, okay, so we're getting you set up. Let's see. So, only thing you'd find was firework shows. Oh, you don't even know where you can get fireworks. Yeah, like even when it's illegal to buy fireworks, uh, there are legal fireworks. So it's um, uh, like even even around here so i'm in colorado like every i don't know every couple blocks there's gonna be a vendor selling fireworks okay so my tea is finished brewing i'm gonna put this over here try not to spell it all over the keyboard uh and of course if you want the you know pro amateur pro level of fireworks then you can always just go to a fully legal state or just drive down to mexico even guns oh well like i yeah i could i could throw a rock and find a, a gun store around here 
I did not see that video. That sounds hilarious. Okay, so we've got everything running here. Let's go to logo host. Here we are. Okay, so here's what we're trying to do. I want to make it so that when somebody else takes a card, I can see their card here. Uh, now we have an issue in that I don't necessarily have information about the other players. So I'm going to need like a players um, addition here. And we're going to need to send up the cards that they have uh, and like whether or not I can see them. So let's head to the back end here. I'm thinking, so we have this. Wait, this is not the back end. What am I doing? This is the back end. Uh, I'm thinking we have this message here. Um, I will save that uh, for later because that sounds hilarious. Okay, just sending that out. You live in a major city and there's only like four. Well, if you ever visit America, you will see. You will see how many we have of everything. Um, OK, so in message. So we have this outgoing message and we see what this is. So I'm thinking what we need is like the players, right? So this would be like players, maybe other players. And you're going to be an option. OK, so look at this. Do you see? Do you see this? It's actually trying to this is copilot. That's trying to suggest what I'm going to have. Uh, it apparently thinks I want an array of strings. That, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to say that I just want an empty tuple to begin with. Uh, because I don't know what I want to go in there. You only recently got two Taco Bells. Well, uh, as somebody who doesn't like, you know, like the Taco Bell food that much, uh, I, I'm sorry. Um, or congratulations, depending upon whether or not you like that. Um, okay, so. We need players. Now, in main state... We have, so we have this idea of a room and we have a deck. Am I not storing who has what? A deck, oh no, I am. Because here I'm doing something like for each. OK, so for each deck of cards. See, here's our two cards in this deck. Uh, and the card is owned by cards. So if we come into card, we can have the owner. And so the owner can be a player with the socket address. So what I need, what I need is the ability to sort of like filter out and get the ones from you know from everybody you don't have as many fast food places as america um fair fair point we have a lot of fast food places yeah there there actually are a ton that is that is accurate and we have fast food of every type that you could imagine you want mediterranean food there's a fast food place for that. You want uh, you want sushi fast food. There are places for that, although I won't touch them with a 10 foot pole because um, I don't I don't trust sushi fast food. Um, 
And of course, you know, the Burger King, all that stuff. Like, you know, American food, fast food is tons of that. There's even restaurants that build themselves as slow fast food. So can consider that. Okay, so. Who's going to be in charge of this? Is it going to be me or is it going to be you? So, <laughs> I know. Just like a normal restaurant. We have a place called Hungry Jack's, which is owned by Burger King and is supposed to be almost the same. Oh, well, that's common. Like to have uh, to have um, uh, fast food restaurants that are owned by each other. So you can't tell if you're like, I don't like you. I'm going to go to this competitor. And it turns out it's owned by the same place. Yeah, we have that a lot here. So if I have other places, so what I'm thinking of is that we're going to need um, some identifier for the player. So then we can have this be like a vector, pro probably a vec of, I don't think it can be cards, but like maybe we, oh no, okay, so... This is gonna be the vector of the other players, right? So here, this doesn't need to be an option. This can be a vec. And inside of here, like hands. Yeah, it's something it's something like that. It's pretty it's pretty funny. There are umbrella companies inside of umbrella companies. That is true. I am not so I started a company just to like, you know, tax benefits for like buying stuff for the stream because, you know, they, they allow me to do that. And uh, I have not. Um, I have not yet been purchased by an umbrella company. So what you're seeing is like the beginning and end. That being said, if a company would like to purchase my company for millions and millions and millions of dollars, I am fully available for, you know, communication with that. I don't know. I, I see like th this is the thing is like th this is gonna be one of those episodes where like I just don't know what I probably want to do this uh, Elevator pitch go you will make a little bit of money a lot a little bit of money Over a long period of time Right now, I mean Yeah Wait, is, is that a good elevator pitch? I feel like that was that was the best I could possibly do I didn't even talk about values or anything else. It's like the, the standard normal thing you're supposed to do these days. Which I actually have. I have written down like my values, my purpose, my why, and all that, all that stuff. <laughs> Investors already left as soon as you said a little money. Um I, I'm sure we can do a like a parody stream where then I go I'll go in and like do an actual pitch. And it's like, okay. Danny Fritz, hello. We're going, you know, if you invest in me, I will lose money at a smaller rate than Uber. So I need a hand. Uh, what is a hand? So perhaps, like, perhaps I need to rethink about like this, where I have like, my my the card that I sent up um it's like this the this is the card that I sent up do I want like every time to send I guess this is the question do I want every time to send like a card 
like everybody's card. You know what? I think I actually just want to have this be the thing. I'm sending a card. And so we need to make sure that we note, okay, so this card, suit value owner, when I draw a card, can I see like the owner for this? Oh, I can see the owner for it, but it's an address, which is not helpful in the least. Is your company based around your streams? Pretty much like right now, yeah. I, I did a company so that I can like buy buy equipment for that and um, get tax benefits for, for it because like that's actually something that's that's possible in um in in America here. And they told me I have three three years to make a profit before before I can't do that anymore. Um without without a profit. Which I think is actually one of the reasons why like people shut down companies so you know after three years or so. I did not base mine in Delaware. How much is profit in their eyes? Oh, um, so here's the way it works in America is for the first three years, um, you can deduct all expenses for all expenses for a startup off of your taxes. Um, so like all of your income, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's actually one of the reasons why, why you hear so much from people saying like your hobby should make you money. It's because they're, um, they're suggesting that like you can get these tax benefits off of it to reduce your output, reduce like the amount you spend every year. But then after three years, uh, the um, IRS is like, okay, so we gave you three years. And uh, at this point, if you're still not making a profit, we're considering that this is a hobby and not a company that you're being serious at. So now you can only deduct the amount that you make from the hobby. So if I make, I don't know, like 10 bucks, um, uh, let, let's say I make like 10 bucks in that entire year off that hobby. I can only deduct now $10 of expenses. Uh, so still deductions are still possible, but they're now like after three years, a cap to how much you make. And then everything after that is like, talk to a lawyer. Um, probably still with that, talk to a lawyer, a tax lawyer. Cause like there's so many laws and rules. Like I'm not even doing, I, I don't even want to do my taxes myself. It's, it's too complicated. I have somebody else do it for me and like they deduct everything. You're supposed to buy only things related to the company. So microphones, cameras, you know, want to do that. Um, but yeah. I mean, in a way, yes, but like you're supposed to be trying to fund your, your company. You're essentially bootstrapping it. But America is really big on trying to get more people to like buy it. Okay, so I need some kind of um, identifier here. And there's a couple ways that we can do this. If we come back to here, I'm actually thinking Let's head back to here. I want like just more than room code. We need a name. Like we need, we need something to be able to send our name back. So I think that is that app. I think it's home. Yeah, here's this. So we're going to want a What? Oh, okay. So I'm used to being able to put, so I'm on windows. I'm able to do like control enter to go to the next line, regardless where my cursor cursor is. And now copilot opens up. It tells me all of the, I, I have no idea what it, no. Okay. Let's do this. So. Huh, that's, that's cool. But that's not what I want to do. And that's why you hire a good tax lawyer and you can make that happen. Actually, yes. It's also why tax lawyers are extremely busy. 
this time of year. Uh, not this time of year. Um, actually, no, this is too late. Uh, January through April, tax lawyer, tax people are the busiest in the world. Dystopia, hello. Um, I am accepted into GitHub's Copilot. Yes. So I just got that. You can actually see this very faint line here is Copilot suggesting that I give it a title. Also, this is not the name of the application I'm building. So it's wrong in every way whatsoever. Um, thank you. So like clearly it's uh it's not it's not super great, but it's uh it's interesting to, to play with. Um okay. So it's the game. Uh no, I don't want that. What we want is a new custom text field. I want a new one of these. Uh okay, so the label is gonna be so instead of room code, this is gonna be name. Um, and handle name text field. Let's take you and okay. So look at this. Almost it. Did I misspell this? I did misspell this. So it it wants me just to emit the name out, uh, which is kind of right, but not fully right. So I want to do, I do want to do emit, um, so like name set name. Um, how about poker is game of life? Oh, that could be interesting. The cards will die if you have more than X amount and will respawn if there's less than X. And um, and it's it's actually a poker game too, which means it's a puzzle game. So you have to like put cards down. Actually, so I think that this may have started as a joke, but I actually think that that could be a really fun uh, card game because you could do something where you start with aces or you start with like twos and you have to move your way up to aces. And it could be a poker puzzle game where using game of life rules or something similar to that, uh, you place them down and then that would increase the values of like certain numbers them. And it's kind of like uh, the 2094, 2064, I forget what that game is called, where you're, um, you're basically putting numbers down to like combine them together and add up. So it could be that plus game of life. 2048, that's what it is. Thank you, Caleb and Stacking. Okay, so I'm gonna emit this out. Now what this means is, uh, I can come back to here. Uh, here's our name. And uh, I'm really sorry, but you're not gonna be able to see this very well. Uh, but so here's my event section of, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, view. So if I used to say H, we actually see the payload emitted out. So as I talk, it emits out with this name set and I get to see the text coming out. So this is heading up. As a computer programmer, you should know eights. I mean, I should know eights, but like apparently in the morning, I'm, I'm terrible at like memorizing, not really thinking that that makes sense, that it's all based upon twos, but yeah, it is. Also, I think I played that game once and then realized I'm terrible at math and uh, and abandoned it. You just stop at 256, otherwise the UA will overflow. Uh, accurate. 255, yeah, that's true. Zero through 255. Um, okay, so I'm sending that up. So therefore, I need to see, where are we? We are at this, okay. This here, so app is the next one up. So 
so now uh, we are okay. I'm curious I'm not gonna copy this so name set we're gonna go to app and in router view no it doesn't get it at name set equals name set guess we should just do this as handle name set to be consistent okay so that one gets it also like it's not doing super great with the lack of closing the uh, brackets out that's that's sort of like a, a bummer um it's like i'm working with a, a a junior programmer who's like okay i'll just you know not work with an editor that has auto closing tabs and then run into trouble all the time okay so we're gonna it's gonna dispatch sort of like set name so like that's i want to set name notepad yeah which i i have talked to some i have worked with some um developers who who did that like very very early on uh dota 2 attitude hello okay so we come to here now i want to go into the store so it's index uh, and we're gonna have an action for set name. So this is gonna be set name. No, that's not how it works. Um, we're gonna open and close and put in a, okay, we need the state uh, and we need name. So that was correct. Yeah, let's go ahead and open a view. Send for each of these. We're gonna send this on down. Wait, it's Canada Day today? Hold on. Well, what do you know? My calendar does say it's Canada Day today. So uh, for all of you in Canada, uh, happy, happy Canada Day. Um, also, I have no idea what Canada Day is celebrating. So can you tell me? Uh, View.set, no, that's, that's incorrect. Uh, you're looking at a mutator AI. Uh, we want to do a state dot WebSocket. Okay, this is this is not bad. But again, you need to close these, otherwise bad things happen. Uh, okay, so our message. We're gonna have a command. Actually, okay, so that's pretty good. Um, and I think it's message. In command, uh, we have set name. Yeah, we're gonna have a set name in here. Uh, and then... And message, the incoming message, we'll just have it be part of the message. So, oh, and the room code, we need that too. So like all of the above. The birth of Canada. Well, happy birthday, Canada. To be honest, the Native Americans are kind of pissed at us. So the meaning of Canada may change. Um, that makes a lot of sense because the birth of Canada has nothing to do with the Native Americans who were probably there, you know, for many, 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 many generations before a bunch of, um, a bunch of people came over and just said like, Hey, look, I found a country with nobody in it. Um, and then everybody's like, wait, what, what about us? Same thing happened here in America. Um, so congratulations. We, we, we all have atrocities in our past that uh, that we've done to the natives here. And 
all we can do is learn from it and try never, never, ever to do that again. So we need a message. Our message is probably going to be the name and reparations, which actually I I, I would be fine with. Uh, I'm happy with uh, with reparations and like giving those out. We have many, many people that we can give to them. Uh, is it is it now up to 400? Oh, I remember seeing the news about that and uh, that was that was a really bummer. We, we've had similar things. So, so command, so we're going to send this out. Um, what's in the bottom left, by the way, uh, this, this thing. So if I click on that, it allows me to, oh wait, do I have cat? Oh, I left cat cam on. Well, that's why it is a camera. It's pointing at the wall for some reason, which will be still here. So hold on, let me just reposition this a little bit. The wire doesn't get it. We can try that again. So kind of you can see uh, they'll be um, watching out for me to make sure the giant uh, uh, thunder monster doesn't get me. Uh, yeah, I wish things like those were were clickbait. They they still might be clickbait, but it's it's. I generally believe when they find things like those. Okay, so. I'm gonna send this command. Okay, so we also need the room. Uh. Well, look at that. There we go. We also need the room code. Um. Okay. So we're going to send this back. You're upset with me for reasons that I can't control right now. Um, OK, so this is going to go back now. Uh, and our title is going to be set name. So to com title command set name. Um, OK. message uh other players let's just not worry about this for a second okay so in our main library we have to handle this so what i want to do right now is probably just uh debug the incoming message so just to like see what this is. Um, right. the, oh, does debug return something? Oh, it does. Oh, okay. I don't actually care about what you return. Um, I guess I need to do that. Yeah. Okay. If that's what I've got to do, then that's what I got to do. Okay. So here's our WebSocket server running here. Um, I want to... Hello. And a bunch of bears. Also, reset connection. Oh, well, this is a problem. We should only send the name down. Okay, we need to send the name down only when we create the game. Okay, so that's okay. 
that's a that's a problem. So I'm actually not going to do this entire ascending down here. Uh, what we want is our name to be in here. So we'll have this be an empty string to begin with. Uh, and uh, when we set name, so we're just going to have a mutation. OK. Um, I mean, you're you're correct. So that that works. This is set name. So then in here we have the action set name. And what we're going to do is instead of all of this stuff that we wrote, we're going to do. Um, uh, we don't need a state. We need a commit. So we're going to do a commit. Oh, set name. Pass it to name. So now, when we run this, we should see in view X. Hello, load the state up, and the name is hello. Async code reviews are killing your company's throughput. Interesting title for a meetup. Um, I don't disagree with that idea off the top of my head uh, because, like that, async code reviews can really slow down deployments. It's like a pretty huge queue. Uh, especially if they wait like a day to get feedback. Oh man, that, those are the worst. I hate that. But it's most likely waiting like three days, uh, because why not? Um, OK, so we now store this in here over a month. At that point, throw away the code, start over again. OK, so when we Send okay when we create the game, we need to send back the game name. So when we handle create game. Oh, but this isn't create game. This is what I want. Okay, so the message is command create game. Uh, and then also we're going to send in a message of the name. I think, yeah, that's what I want to name. So that's going to be a state dot name. Oh, this is an XP programmer meetup? Oh, nice. Yeah, they're going to have strong opinions about that. They're probably going to suggest uh, uh, pairing as as the solution, and then you don't have to do, do it. Uh, OK, that. Wait. That. What? So I have um, I have colored brackets on that you can see here, and this bracket is curly bracket, and this bracket is gray. That's not what? Huh? Okay. That that's interesting. Um, okay, so I'm gonna send this back when we create the game. So what I want to do here is in the back end, we're actually not going to have a set name. That doesn't seem to be helpful for us. So back to here, we're going to remove this entire command set name. Uh, but instead, in create game here, we're going to go to state create game. Uh, I want to. Ah, nope. 
we're just handing the address. We need to hand the incoming message. Also, so incoming message is this incoming message, which, ah. Uh, I just want to debug this incoming message. Okay, so leaving this up here, I should now be able to reset my connection. Um, we're gonna say, uh, my name is Berserker and create game. And so we can see our message is some Brookserker. So that's our name. What if I told you that teams doing small PRs with async code reviews actually have way lower throughput than teams doing big PRs? Uh, you figured that'd be wrong. Yeah, I would figure that would be wrong too because big PR, well, okay. I guess like, there's some other questions that go in there is uh, how often, like, are, are there measurements of bugs? Are there measurements of, um, of like a rework and, and other, and like other big changes? Like would there, there would that, like that, that might be important to like keep track of too. And does that change as like the team size change? That would actually be really fascinating to look at the data for that. I do not have that. Small PRs, low throughput, high quality. High throughput, low quality. Well, so then what's the what's the real definition of done here? Then nice. Okay, so we have this in the message now, uh, which means that we can state. Okay, so right now, uh, we have in our back end, we have a room. And for our room, we have the addresses, we have the deck. Um, for the addresses, so we need to somehow store like a player. So I'm actually thinking that we're going to start a new player struct. I mean, okay, are you gonna figure this out? No? Okay, you can figure that out. You still can never figure out that we need closing brackets. That's kind of important. Um, okay, so we need we need a name, yes, absolutely. Uh, and we're gonna need an, no, not, not an age. Uh, we're gonna need an address. Also, let's not make these public right away. Don't need to make them public until absolutely necessary. And you're also going to be a string. Um, do I need to like also store the sender here? So like, this is like, okay, we have clients here, which is this hash map of like socket address. And what I'm probably gonna do is like socket address and like player. And then the room, oh, I think I need to rethink. How, how this is all going to be done. Uh, hold on. We're going to come back to the whiteboard. Whiteboard is white, so uh, this might be a little bit bright. Okay. 
So what do I want to do for this? Is that Zilby sitting guarding the door? That is Zilby sitting guarding the door. He ate half of his food, uh, and then I guess he decided he had the energy to guard the door for me. Okay, so... Um, we need... I think I need to, like, rethink the architecture for, like, this game. So... Uh, we're gonna have, like, a universe here. So these are gonna be, like, all of the, the, the cards. Like, let's imagine that we're in a, like, a poker house? A bar? At, where, where does this stuff like this happen? Like, um... We're in a place where there's lots of poker games being played. Uh, so... We would have... Rooms... Let's say we have four rooms here, then. So we have the poker house. And then we have a room. Now, for each of these rooms, we're going to have an ID, right? So it might be something like one, two, three, four. Um, it might be something like it's always four digits. It's just completely random. And should be unique. Okay, so we have we have this now. Um, so th this is essentially the room name. Then we have players. Uh, right now, as part of our um, as part of our requirements, we are stating that a player can only be in one room at a time, and uh, if they're in another room, it's because they've opened up another uh, another browser window, and we're going to consider that a completely different player. So even if they have the same name. Uh, they're a different web socket, so they're a different player. So we'll have like um, a player, and like maybe with a name. Uh, let's let's use us. So we'll have like here. I'm I'm Brooks. I'm I'm here. Uh, like here is uh, Dota. Now maybe over here we have a player. Uh, Chantilly. Um, and Chili, Chantilly would be playing against Stacking. Okay, so, and then these rooms don't... Now, I don't want them to exist or not. They don't exist until... A new room is created, if that makes sense. So, like, I might just do something like. Here. Chantilly is busy. She's opened up three web, web sockets and is trying to play against as many people as possible. Okay, so that's good. Then I need uh, cards, right? So what is a card? A card is, let's shade this in. Kill. It's like Dota, let's say has two cards. I have two cards. This player has one card. You have one card. Maybe you have three cards. You have one card for some reason, but we don't really care. You have two cards and like three cards. It's like just a bunch of random variety. 
Um, we also have a deck in the middle with the number of cards left. So let's say like 45. Dota is two tabling. I'm going to be bored. Um, what, like only two tables? You want like what? Eight tables? Eventually you'll be able to do that. Uh, Wolfie Dev, hello. How are you doing today? Nine tabling. So like I've never played online poker. Um, so I've never like I know that you could do that, but like I've never actually like played online gambling. So I don't even like I can't even imagine how that would work. Uh, mostly because like I, I get confused between the different I, I, would, I would imagine I get confused between different, different peoples. Oh, you were pro at one point in time. Oh, that that sounds fun. I've met other like online pro players in the past who then transitioned to other jobs. Mostly folding and waiting for hands way back in the day. Oh, OK. Yeah, I guess I guess if you're being patient, that that could make sense. Um, uh, Wolfie, I am doing pretty good. Uh, a little bit distracted. Uh, woke up like a couple times in the middle of the night due to really loud lightning that uh, or I guess thunder, the thunder part of lightning, um, which also freaked out Zilby, which is why you can see him behind me. Uh, so he's behind me watching the door. Uh, there was thunder last night. I was thunderstruck. I woke up at like 2.30 in the morning or something like that. And it was really loud. And I think that's the loudest sound that Zilby has ever heard in his life. Unless there was like some louder sound before we adopted him. Okay, so then... Yeah, let's just... Do that. What kind of monster plays ACDC in... 2.30 in the morning. Uh, I mean, I know musicians, they, they, they might actually do that if they're practicing. <laughs> okay, so... Looking at this, for each of these cards, I also want some little... Like the ability to, I get no, oh, they they wouldn't be here, they would be like here. To mark these as like visible or not. That's a diamond. That's a diamond. I don't know how that turned into that. I did finish the refactor, and now we're realizing we're probably going to have to do a big refactor again because of reasons. So, like, these would be marking that it's visible or invisible uh, to other players. Sounds like software development. Yeah, it, it actually is. It's very close to, like, a lean, a lean development, which is, like, building something before you actually know what you're building and then uh, and then sort of like changing it all along the way. Uh, it's a very common system of, of doing things these days because it's like, well, we don't know what we need, uh, but we can't let that stop us. So. Because of that, so like this so like look, looking at like how everything is sort of set together, I'm feeling that struct wise, uh, we need a struct that's like the entire, like, so this would mean main state, right? Like we have, we have this main state. Uh, then inside those, we have rooms. Inside of rooms, uh, we're going to have the draw deck. Uh, and we're going to have uh, players. For players, 
we're gonna have uh the cards or maybe like the hand which is then like is made up of of cards so if i look at this okay we have main state uh we have rooms that's essentially a an array or probably maybe maybe an object I don't, I don't know it doesn't really matter that much i'm going to just use this to mention that it's like a collection uh okay for draw deck uh that can be singular there's only one of those for players um inside of here this is going to be a collection for hand that's going to be a collection and then card will be singular so there's a cards in a hand it's a collection of cards um actually i don't know if this is this probably has to be a collection of card here too doesn't it so like we click this and a card goes from the draw deck and goes to a player's hand I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So I click on this as player Brooks and a card move, removed, gets removed from this array or collection and added to my collection deck. So uh, keeping this in mind, Um, let's say it's like, I have all this player and all this other stuff. Okay, I just want to like reset where we were. We're all fine here. Everything's fine. But I think our back end is going to have to change significantly now. Um, Might just do this as JSON, just to sort of like explore with it. Um, okay, so let's model this room here. So we have the entire like main state. So we have main state. Uh, how do I want to do this? Maybe, maybe actually making this, um, rust, then we can just do a, uh, like a struct main state. So, okay. so what are you going to have inside of here? Uh, in main state, we have to have the rooms, right? So rooms is going to be it could be a vector of rooms. Um, I'm not sure. Let's just try a vector of room. So in that case, we need a struct room. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we need anything else. Um, oh, Dota, you just saw me and ran Slack. Uh, if you if you pay attention in the agile channel, I'm I'm usually in there arguing with other people. I actually don't argue too much in there, um, just a little tiny bit. But I'm also in the uh, uh, there's a Twitch channel, there's a Twitch streaming channel in there too. Sometimes I. Uh, and there's a rust. There's a there's a twitch. There's a rust. It's it's uh it's actually a nice um. Rand is great, but it's huge. So I stay away from most places. It's, you know there be dragons in the, in that that slack. So. So then we have a room, and for the room. So we have this, we have this ID. So we have the ID which is going to be a string. 
Um, we have this draw deck. So we have the draw deck, which is going to be a probably a Vec of card. So now we need card. I actually don't know if this is a struct card. This might be an Enum card. Um, okay, so then we have players. Uh, and the players is, let's just for right now, make this a Vec of player. So in, inside of here, we know that each player has a name, so we have a name, uh, and that's going to be a string. Um, each player has our cards, so the hand. So we have a hand, which is a vec of card. Okay. Um, now card. Okay, so I've changed my mind. I think card needs to be a struct and not so and not an enum uh, because I need to have a visible on it that's gonna be a boolean, like a bull. Because I need to be able to flip this to visible or not. Uh, but then here, like we need, we need the suit. So suit, sweet suit. Um, that could be, that could be an enum. Here, enum, sweet, uh, and then a value, which is also just a value. Let's actually make these a card suite and a card value just to make sure it's not. And the enum card value. Okay. So is this is this it? Now, okay. We, we also need to make sure we're storing like where the senders and receivers are. Because uh, if we take a look at what our back end is doing here, is our front end. Uh, oh, we were in our back end. Uh, this is the front end. This. So we have in our main state here, uh, we have the clients, which this unbounded sender to like send messages out. And then here, uh, where are we storing? Oh, this is main in main library. Somewhere in here, we're grabbing, we're creating a address sender. Here it is. Okay, so here's our receiver. So when we send something to go out, it's gonna come in on this receiver. Uh, and so like, if we take a look at where this is being used, down here, receive from others, receiver, we pin it, and then we can send that out. I, be I believe that's how it works. So we basically just like every we have a uh, sender and receiver 
for every connection coming in. So really a broadcast is just looping through all of our clients and then sending something out. Oh yeah, Rans has like so many thousands of people that it's impossible to like follow more than a couple channels. Uh, I, I pretty much only follow Agile and the like, Twitch streaming and, and Colorado. That That's it. That like everything else is just too much. I, I left all of the other channels. Oh, 10? Oh, yeah, you're going to be swamped with messages that you're just not going to care about. That's like my suggestion for any Slack uh, is like, just just don't, don't, don't try to keep up with everything. OK, so I think okay, we, we need we need more information here, right? So we need a player has going to have a sender. So we're going to have like the sender, which is this unbounded sender thingy. Um, now, what are we sending? This is where we have. Keep on going back to the front end. I don't want to do that. Um, this message here. Um, message word. Oh, you just figured that out. Uh, automatically. So message. I have incoming message, outgoing message. Oh, that's so this is a this type of message. So hold on, let's you're not really letting me see what that is. I'm I'm pretty sure that this is a this message here, which is a type. Yeah, then I have to do like an incoming message. So I, I convert it to an incoming message using survey JSON. So when we say message here, we're talking about a tungstenite message. So like we have the unbounded, this is to send out. The receiver can only have one receiver, but we can have multiple senders. So each player gets its own sender in here so we can send a message to them. Um, and this is gonna have to be a like a tungstenite message. So it's getting a little bit Losing a little bit of uh, the actual like rustiness from here of like actual code and just mentioning what that is. This will allow me to send a message to the player and I can like potentially just have the player. Uh, like give the player a hand a name and I think there's a way for me to tell it to not put the sender in when I put things together. So if I do this, So message comes in. So like, let's let's just imagine this. Um, I'm player Brooks. I click on the draw deck. Well, I guess like, let's start at the very, very beginning. I click on new game. The entire room gets created. So a room now gets added to main state uh, and we have an ID. It has a draw deck that's initialized and an empty players list. Um, that ID gets returned back, so sent back to me, and then I immediately join that, that room. So now I've joined the room. So now I've created a new player. Uh, I have to send in the name at the same time. 
I get an empty hand, I get the sender, uh, and then I get stuff into this room. So one, one in here. And the room has this ID, which is a string, which gets displayed out here. I send that to, let's say, Dota. Dota then enters in uh, the name and uh, the room ID and hits join room. So another player gets created. So with Dota's name, uh, an empty hand, and they get their sender. The player gets stuffed into the room players. So now there's two of us here. Okay, awesome. I click on the draw deck to start drawing. So as a player, one room, so a card gets removed from the draw deck and added to my hand. At that point in time, this entire player's Actually, this entire room needs to be sent back to everybody in here, right? I get mine, but I need to know. It's like if it's me getting sent out, I need my. Yeah, if it's me, I need to see my hand. If it's somebody else, I just need to see the number of... I can't see the cards. I can't see the values. So do I send a completely different player for somebody else? Also, I think what we need to do is we need to have an address. It's just going to be a string. That way I know if it's me, I'll send everything back up. If it's not me, I will send a vec of card, but I have to reach in and obfuscate the cards. So the card becomes invisible. So visible false. which then we have to have, so like in card suite, for example, card suit, 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 suit. Did I, did I spell this correct? Um, Dota, you're out. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I guess I'll see you on rants. Uh, have a great rest of your day. So we have something like um, hearts, clubs, spades, diamonds um and then we can have one more which is maybe like uh hidden so we switch this card suit for every single one of these cards if it's not the same player i switch it to hidden and then this would be something like two three four I guess in this one, it, I might want to just do like a two, three, four, um, and then uh, hidden, something like that. So then both of these get switched to hidden before sending it back. So we'd have to have like a method on the struct to hide it if it's not me and then send that back. And then that way, if they've clicked this thing and visibility is uh, true, we can see it, then 
then that won't set that. Then we play, I take cards, Dota takes cards, I make them visible, Dota makes them visible, I make them invisible, like the same thing happens, messages are going back and forth and then sending all this, uh, and then we need to, we press a button to retract all the cards and they come back in again. Oh, well, hello, Zilby. Zilby's back up here now. He decided that it's safe enough for, for eating. Or... Or just hanging out. Yes? Do you want... No? Okay, you want this food. Also, okay. Silvy. Yeah, you could be over here. Okay. You just don't have to stand on the keyboard. Also, I'm covered in hair now, so that's cool. Okay, so then I send a message back saying like, hey, I need to retract. So we need... Um, like we need the commands, like what are we doing uh, with each of these? So this can be like an enum command. So like uh, we have the, we did the create game. Uh, so we did the create game. We did the join game. Um, I took a card, so like, Draw a card. Uh, so I drew a card. Dota drew a card. Uh, so like um, toggle card visibility. So like toggle the card's visibility state. Then we want like when the game is done, uh, I want to draw like reset the deck, right? So I want to um, bring all those cards back. So like collect cards, uh, shuffle deck, and then we start again. Now, do I want to like have the ability to exit a room? Pro probably, like, um, I don't know. I might, I might just not worry about that. Or at least MVP. See if it's a problem. But I think these are the th different actions that we can do. So this is the this is the incoming command. This is the action being taken. Then when when something comes back to us, the message coming back Like we might have that, but we're gonna have to have the struct. We have the incoming message, uh, and then we're gonna have the outgoing message. So these are gonna be like, hey, incoming message on the web socket. Hey, player did this, right? So we're gonna have um, like the command, which is gonna be this command. 
great. Uh, which to me means we probably need like an action taken, right? Like what was the action? So if I create a game, so I, I clicked create game button. Um, so I send the command create game and I also have to send the player name, don't I? Uh, so I need to send like some kind of data, right? So data is like this message data. Uh, okay. So uh, this would be the name. Player name is going to be a string. And this probably is going to be an option of a string because we're not always going to send the player name for this message data. So I create I create the uh, the game. I pass in my name with this. So this would be create game. Uh, and then I'm going to receive back the action was game created. So we're going to have a in a action. So game created. The game was created and I need the room ID. So we can have this message data maybe be the same. So like, let, let's say we then do um, data comes with this is going to be a message data. So the room ID is going to be an option string. So lots of options in this case. That gives me this room ID back. I then immediately join the game. So incoming message, I send command join game with data, uh, with the message data being room ID this. So now the room ID is set. Okay, then we take our player, we create a player, store the address, store the sender, initialize an empty hand, we need the name. So we would need the player name also in here. So we need to send the player name and the room ID at the same time for joining. Okay. That gets added to the room. That gets added to the room. So now the player is in here. The draw deck was initialized. The room, the idea that it was initialized for sending back. Okay. Then I'm in here. Dota then goes and fills out his name and puts in the room ID that I sent over Zoom or something and hits uh, join room. So then we say command. Join game. That's the command. The data is going to be the player name and the room ID. So then player gets created, added to the room, and I can respond back now. So everyone now needs. So, like, I was already in the room. I now need a message saying 
that uh, player joined. That I can display that this player is now here. So player joined, um, and I'm gonna get the player name. I don't need the, the room ID anymore. So I, I just really need the player name. So, okay. Now we have this in here. I draw a card. So command, draw a card. I send an incoming message, draw a card, and the message data. I, I can send my player name. I don't need to send my player name because my address should be me. It should the address should represent me. So I don't need to worry about that. So I don't need Okay, so I'm drawing a card. Uh message data in this case these are just going to be nuns. It's just going to be empty. Now I could have emptied that, but I think actually it just might be, might make sense just to like player name none, room ID none, like they won't take up any space. So that, that should be fine. Then. We're gonna have logic that takes in the room, a card, removes a card from the draw deck and using my address, finds me in the players and then gives me this card. But now, so in action, we need um, player drew card and then we need in the message data, we need the card. So with the card information, so the card with the visibility Boolean and then the value. So at this point of time, this is going to be sent back to everyone in the room. If it's me and I drew the card, I get the information for the card. And if it's somebody else, they, they have to like, not this, this has to be hidden. And visibility is going to be hidden by default. So then the card shows up here. I can see it um, from Dota's viewpoint. It's going to be just the back of the card. Hidden. Okay. Dota draws a card. Same thing happens. I, I then say, okay, I want to make this card visible. So toggle card visibility. Incoming message. Uh, I need. I need the card to tell it which the card that is there, which means I need an ID on the card. So we'll just do uh, a string, an ID for the string, or we can do like a, a U. A U8 on on the ID here, that should be fine. Which means I could send the entire card down as as part of this message data, or I could just send the card ID. This would be an option U8. So I toggle that 
Uh, we'll then just toggle this, um, and then we have to send a message back uh, saying that... So, the more I'm thinking about this, this is this is not, like, I don't think... I don't think I need, like, this to be action like that. I think this outgoing message could just be the command. And it, it should be fine. Because the data is where the key is. Um, and the data has the same keys, but like we're going to be dynamically building them just subtly differently, depending upon if it's incoming or outcoming. So outgoing message we toggled. So the command, the action that was that was toggled. So this could probably just be hey, like. Heck, this could be action too. If we do that, then incoming and outgoing messages could be the same. So this could be like a custom message. It has to be different than just message because your reasons. So we can have action is, and then we're going to just rename you action. And then our data. Okay. So Dota receives a message saying that a card has been flipped. Its visibility has been flipped, meaning that this card is going to be filled out. Possibly the card ID too. But if I get the card, it'll have the ID inside of that. So that's, that's what really matters is we're going to have the card's been flipped. And it needs to, we need to know on the front end which one of these was flipped. We know it's not ours, but let's say there's many other people here. Like let's say there's another player here. Uh here. Um we'll do. Wolfie. You yeah, have two eyes. So I flip a card. Um, both Dota and Wolfie will now see a message coming in saying that the card has been flipped. I think we might need like a player ID here too. Um we can do a U8 for this, but to keep things to to keep like if if I keep on incrementing that that could be um could be dangerous. We run out of potential players. Uh so I might just want to do like a string and it will be a UUID. So then you find me locally and you then replace the card information here. And suddenly, you know, it flips and you can now see what that was. I can toggle it and it'll happen again. Okay, that's great. Um, I click the collect card button. Uh, I click the collect card button and all of the players and go through all the players remove like empty out their hands and put them into the the draw deck and probably just reshuffle probably just like reset the draw deck and empty the hands. And then we can start over again. And so the message coming out for that would be then collect cards. Let's not do shuffle deck. We'll just do collect cards and that also shuffles the deck too. 
So that's the action. It gets sent to everyone in the room. And... I guess if we have the action taken and we know what that action is, uh, everyone automatically just removes their cards. That That's great. But then the other thing is that we need to know how many draw cards are left. So we need um, the draw the draw deck size, essentially. So they don't need to know anything more than that. And you're going to be an option with a U8. Okay. I think I think this will this will be good for this. There'll be some refactoring slash. I guess it's not refactoring because the the interface changes. So there's going to be some rewriting on the front end too, but I think this is going to be mostly back end rewrite. Uh, and I think this may sleep mostly due to like us not actually sitting here and planning out what the interface is going to look like. Now it's a little bit unfortunate because I don't. I'm running out of time, or I ran out of time, so I can't actually start on this today. Which is, which is a little bit sad. So we just did like a bunch of planning for what's gonna happen uh, starting tomorrow. However, the cool thing is that um, I have, uh, my company decided to take uh, tomorrow off as a holiday. Uh, so I'm gonna be able to do a little bit longer stream tomorrow, not, not until 12 because uh, I have an appointment out in town at like 11.30 or so, so I have to like end at like 10 or so. Uh, and then uh, Monday is is a holiday, so I should be able to do a uh, Friday longer Monday streams. And then Sunday's a uh, Sunday's a 4th, of, 4th of July. I don't know, like I think I'm going to stream. Uh, stay, pay, I would say pay attention to my Twitter. Um, I think I'm going to stream and I'm also thinking maybe I'll just do something different. Maybe we'll like go over my, how I do, um, how I do my, my team, like leadership stuff and how I, how I've set up where I can predict and estimate, uh, long tasks and how they, like how long it takes. Um, that's what I'm thinking of doing on Sunday, which is technically the 4th of July. So with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the stream now. So let's head over to ending stream. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, hanging out with us. Oh, there's 11 of us here. So let's actually get a, um, a raid going, too. Uh, who is... Um, on my list all is only Mr. Halsey. So we're just going to set up that. Start that. All right, everybody. Um... I didn't even go and like look at what Mr. Halsey is doing. Should probably, probably do that. Uh, but I'll I'll do that in a little, a little bit after after we got set up. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I have to head off to work. I'll probably say hi once or you know for a minute or two with Mr. Halsey, uh, and then I will all see you tomorrow morning, hopefully, uh, for some more of uh, more of this. With that, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.